Good morning. For as far back as I can remember, I wanted to be a teacher. I spent hours in my basement in front of a big chalkboard with lots of old textbooks playing school with friends or even by myself. I read to younger children during my hour spent at the library five doors down from my home. As an eighth grader, I was overjoyed and in awe of Krista McAuliffe, the teacher going to space. And I was absolutely crushed when the Space Shuttle Challenger didn't make it on that sad day. Vacations to Tahoe were usually spent looking over the little ones that were staying in our complex. I remember fondly my time spent in high school with a group of fourth grade girls being their Bible study leader. But in my senior year of high school, I took an accounting class and learned about I ended up taking a different turn, going to college for accounting instead of pursuing my original dream of teaching. After some time spent in banking, then working in the accounting department of a small company, I found myself on the 15th floor of the 300 building at Oracle, working in their accounts receivable department at the age of 21 while still finishing my accounting degree. The hours were long, the stress was high, the takeout was plentiful. Many weekends over month end, quarter end, and particularly year end were spent inside those office walls. A few years later, I transferred to the education division of Oracle, not to bring back the dream of teaching, but to continue crunching numbers. The hours were long, the stress was high. This time there was travel. There was never a vacation where I didn't have my laptop. That said, I made a few lifelong and amazing friends along the way. There were unbelievable holiday parties and company picnics. I got stock options and was able to buy a home with the proceeds. I wouldn't say the turn I took was wrong, but it was certainly a detour. I wasn't fulfilled. Corporate life did not make me happy. I was definitely not where I was supposed to be. Pastor Mary recently asked me what I thought the word called meant. To me, to be called is to be pulled. A call is a desire, a need, something that just has to happen. My call was to teach. After nearly 20 years at Oracle and seeing the fulfillment my husband had as a teacher, that pull was too strong. Something had to change. God had another plan for me. It was time for me to revisit that childhood dream and make it a reality. I enrolled in a two-year master's program to get my credential and step up to that call. It was scary on so many levels. The cost of the program, the pay cut I'd be taking as a teacher, starting over so late in life, and going back to school at nearly 40 were heavily weighing on me. But I knew this is what I had to do. This is just what I was meant to do. Just about a year into my program, I got a literal call. My mentor, Allison's first grade teacher, and one of the people who heavily encouraged me to pursue my dream, had taken quite ill and requested that I cover her class for the year on a rush internship credential. After 21 years at Oracle, exactly half of my life, at 42 years old, I quit my job and had just weeks to prepare for teaching. Again, this was unbelievably scary. I hadn't even done my student teaching, and now I was going to be full-time in my own classroom. I felt unprepared and unqualified, and yet so excited to take on the challenge and take this step. My mentor passed away that September, leaving me with immense grief, gratefulness that she had chosen me, and pressure to do right by her. I didn't sleep more than four or five hours a night for most of that first year, between planning for my students, finishing my master's credential program, and the huge stress I was feeling. I had never been more exhausted. Every evening I left that classroom feeling like I'd been hit by a Mack truck. But every evening I floated out of that classroom with a huge smile on my face. I'd never been happier. I'd never felt more exhilarated or alive. I had answered God's call. I was exactly where I was supposed to be. Being a teacher is the best job ever. I look forward to each day. I am so passionate about my students wanting desperately to care for them and help and support them and be the best teacher I can possibly be for them. I've tried to create a nurturing, safe environment for them, and I stress kindness and family above all else in my room. I make it a priority to truly connect with my students and their families. I want my kiddos to know how special they are and how much they are loved. I have high expectations and I work them hard, but we have oh so much fun and joy along the way. It's still far more exhausting than Oracle ever was, 
but I am excited to go to work each day and I'm thrilled and honored to have the privilege of teaching these amazing children for 180 days each year. It is a gift. I can't possibly put into words how much I love teaching and how much I adore my students. I tried to put into words with Pastor Mary and ended up in tears, full of the emotion that I have and the joy that I feel from working with these children each day. I just started my fourth year and I never looked back after half of my life at Oracle. I know that this is what God has called me to do. This is without a doubt where I belong and what I'm meant to be doing and how happy I am that I answered his call. Thank you.